Okay. Well, now we need to think we need to figure out what 1.5 1.65 to the x is going to look like. Okay. So again, here's the problem. What is the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of y equals e to the x over 2 and the line x equals 2? So, um, per, I think it, this is, the region is actually going to be, uh, I think it's some sort of quadrilateral because, actually it might be a trapezoid because this, it's just going to be a, the uh, x equals 2 line is, it's kind of like up and well, down. give yourself a little bit of room. Yeah, uh, so, so that's x equals 2. And then, okay. this line is going to be somewhere along... Do you know where the first quadrant is, by the way? It's in here. Okay. Or X and Y are both yeah. positive. Alright. So if the line goes... Just say it goes like that, so it's going to be a trapezoid. Okay. What do you think? Well, I don't think this will be a line, first of all. Okay. Because this is an exponential function, and those tend to get bigger faster than they get mm. smaller. Alright, so what do you think this looks like? So I'm in, I think it looks it's gonna look something like that. Okay. It's kind of a bad picture, but so we know first off that this is never gonna be less than zero. Never it's never gonna be negative. Okay. And I guess the value you can erase that yeah. curve if you that's what your instincts are telling you to do. Okay. Use this. So maybe we can we only need to look inside here. Okay. So what values do you want to look at? Let's look at zero, one, and two. Okay. So say it's zero, it's one. Okay. Why? Why, why when x equals 0 is the expression 1.65 to the x equal to 1? Well, when something is the zero, at 0 power, it's, uh, it's just defined to be 1. Okay. All right, what is it at 1? It's 1.65. Okay. So, so it's about there. And what is it at 2? This would be 1.65 squared. And actually, you know exactly what this is at x equals 2. Um... So if 1.6 was 2.56. Yes. You know, it's e at 2. Why? Because yeah. our original our original thing was the square root of the e, and these are just approximations. Square root of what? e at 3. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The square root of e. All right. So what is e? E is about 2.7. 2. 2. So, so it's going to be. It's like up here. Okay. All right, so so now we have our region. This kind of goes like that. All right, and why don't you shade in the region we're trying to find the area? Okay. All right, good. Now the only thing I would I would tell you is this whole time of using the one point six five approximation. Although it's good to help you understand it, was that necessary? Could you have gone right to this picture? Probably yes. Okay, because this would have been e to the x over two when x is zero, which is just one. Okay, this would have been e to the one half, which is approximately. It's approximately one point six five. And this would have been e to the one, which is just e. e. So okay, so we have a we have a good picture now. Now we're trying to estimate the area. Here. All right. So let's go to that part.